We'll guide you through how to change the email for a YouTube channel. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. In order to change the email on a YouTube channel, what we need to do is move the YouTube channel to the email. So first of all, make sure you've got a Google account with the email you want to go and use for the channel, which I have got. And then what you need to do is go to the top right of YouTube, click on your profile icon and make sure you've got the correct channel selected and then go to the bottom and go and click on settings. In settings, click on view advanced settings. And if you've got the option, you need to go and make your channel a brand channel because you need to have it as a brand channel for the next step, then click back. And then what we need to do is we need to go and add a manager. To go and add a manager, this needs to be a YouTube brand account. Click on the add or remover button. Then on this page, click on manage permissions. And then what you need to do is click on the plus button in the top right and then add the email you wish to go and move the channel to. I've now entered the email and you want to go and select the role as owner. Then you can go and click on invite like that. The person you add will receive an email which says this, you receive the invitation. If you want to go and change it, click on accept invitation like so, and then press accept again. After accepting it on the other email, now I'm back on the original email for the channel and we'll go and click on manage permissions. And then as you can see, we can go and see the other account is owner, but the original one is still primary owner. But what you can then do is click on owner and select primary owner. You'll then go and get this pop up here and all you then need to do is go and click on transfer and you'll then have got to move the channel over to the new email. But it's important to note that the primary ownership can only be transferred to a user who's been a manager for more than seven days. So you'll need to wait seven days before you can fully complete the change. And once you've made the other email the primary owner, you can then go and remove the original one by clicking that remove button. It will be for the other person instead though.